Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We have yet more delusion from these fools. They have finally admitted that they would have to have their own currency if they were to ever join the EU. Previously, I have said that, uh, that their claim that they could carry on using sterling was a non-starter. And that's because in the EU, you can either use your own currency or you can use the euro. But you cannot uh, have a user of someone else's outside of the EU currency. Uh, and so the plan to carry on using sterling is dead in the water, as indeed are their plans to join the EU, if we're being honest about it. And so to do it, they would have to start up and create their own currency, the Scottish pound. And they've decided in their infinite wisdom that to do that and then apply for membership would take up to 10 years. 10 years minimum. I mean, nearer 20. And that's assuming that France and Spain and all that actually admit them, which is not likely. But we'll have a look at this very quickly, see why yet again another one of their plans is gone up in smoke because they fail to take into account basic reality of joining the EU. They are truly, truly fools. Here goes. Now, of course, all this setting up a new currency and applying to join the EU is based on the principle that, first of all, they've managed to secure a referendum and secondly, that they've managed to win it. The first one of those is unlikely. The second seems impossible giving polling, showing massive support for the union. And so all this time, effort and money that they're wasting working on what they'll do with the EU and their currencies and things, assuming they ever get to the point where they're in that position, just seems like so much hot air. But it's the reality of it, of course, that's really truly astounding. And they, they're only now just starting to understand how complex it is. So SNP currency issues mean it could take a decade for an independent Scotland to join the EU. But I mean, that's if at all, as I say, Spain very much unlikely to uh, allow that to happen, uh, especially over the Catalonia problem. Anyway, former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon previously admitted it could take up to five years to found a new Scottish currency. And the SNP government has now admitted they cannot start the process of joining the EU without one. And of course, the problem that Scotland has is that if it does go independent and outside of the United Kingdom, then the United Kingdom is under no obligation to offer free trade or offer any kind of, you know, inducements. Um, and it won't be part of the trading bloc that is the EU. And with their own currency, it would have to free float on the currency markets, which meant even on day one, you allowed the Scottish pound and said it is the equivalency to pound sterling. Uh, because of the way the size, relative size of the economy and the fact that the credit rating for the country won't be as good as the one for the rest of the UK, etc. It would mean that the Scottish pound would plummet relatively quickly. Uh, and all of a sudden, all those things in Scotland that you buy from, you know, England, your biggest trading partner, would become increasingly expensive. And not just England, all across the world. Everything you buy that you have to import will become expensive. But hey, Scotland... You know, you've, you've got to make your mind up here. You know, it's your choice. Thankfully, the, the vast proportion of you say no, which is the only thing saving you, I think. Imagine these fools saying, oh, look, we've got the new Scottish pound and it's worth, oh, no, 60p of the old English pound, which means you need extra pounds to buy something. Of course, the wages won't go up. Oh, no, that would be expensive. And so stuff will be expensive. Anyway, it could take an independent Scotland a decade to join the EU based on their currency issues. The SNP admitted on Friday that they would not be able to become a member of the trading bloc if they do not have their own currency like a Scottish pound. Their latest taxpayer funded Skexit prospectus included this hugely significant admission, which the nationalists have been attempting to avoid for years because they know how awful it is. Uh, it means that they need to establish its own currency and stabilise it before the EU even consider the application. And it will take a while to stabilise. And what's backing it up? You can't exactly go to the, uh, the international market and say, please back us up with, you know, uh, credits, because you don't have any credit history. You know, it was different when the, uh, the breakup of the Soviet Union, because there was an awful lot of money pumped in from the West, particularly America, Western Europe, to try and stabilise these countries because they couldn't have this huge power block disintegrating. 
Uh, but Scotland, it's just that bit up at the top, top of the northwest of, of Europe. They're not going to pump in millions to stabilise it. It's not an unstable country or anything like that. So it won't be able to go to the markets and say, please give us credit ratings. It'll have an appalling credit rating. Anyway, in relation to the euro, as the European Commission has made clear, no timetable for member states joining the eurozone is prescribed. And as for other EU member states, joining the euro would only happen if both the conditions for doing so, known as the convergence criteria, were met and the Parliament of an independent Scotland decided that this was the right course of action to take. In other words, you've got to have the right sort of money and you've got to have the right political willpower. Now, you may well very much have the willpower, but you don't have the right sort of money. Uh, the paper also gives no timeline for when this new Scottish currency would be put in place, just mentioning that it would happen as soon as practicable. This plan was set out in the first perspective launched by Nicola Sturgeon last year. Um, a whole set of stuff of these glossy brochures, very expensive, uh, aimed at trying to trick people into thinking that it was something likely to happen. And of course, it's never likely to happen, is it? Uh, she was forced to admit that installing a new Scottish pound could take up to five years after independence. And she told at the Edinburgh press conference that she hoped it would be shorter than five years, but it won't be. It will probably be way, way longer. I remember Ash Regan during the leadership being asked about setting this up about a central bank. And all she kept mouthing was, oh, Scottish Central Bank, Scottish Central Bank, Scottish Central Bank. Then they asked her about, well, what about your credit rating agency? And then she just looked into the, into the, um, into the camera like a rabbit caught in the headlights. And they said, well, OK, what about your purchasing power? What are you going to do about your stock market? Will you have a stock market? Will you have a free floating exchange? Will you tie? Will you peg all this? Woman didn't have a clue. What are you going to do about buying foreign currencies? Nothing. Nothing. She just went, oh, central bank, but we'll have a central bank. As though that's the be all and end all. Not in a long way. Central bank oversees about nine different agencies. It doesn't fulfil these roles itself can't do not you know by law international law won't allow that to happen and so you have these things sitting there all these things that they, she hadn't got a clue on and of course none of them have got a clue on anyway in a further confession in the latest skeptic prospectus officials admit that it could take up to five years for the process to join the eu to be finished meaning that the combined with the currency issues and independent scotland would be out in the wilderness for an entire decade sitting with its own pretty worthless currency and with no trading partners. And as I say, uh, it would have to form a hard border. I did this on Friday, I think I mentioned this. It would have to have a hard border with England if it was to even you know, progress in the EU. Um, and can you imagine everyone going north and south of the border having to show passport control, having you know checks on every lorry and car going through the customs to make sure that there was nothing coming in that you hadn't paid your tariffs on and things like that because there's no reason for a free trading you know england don't have to open up their border to scotland for free trade there's no obligation uh, and so it makes it makes sense doesn't it but these these idiots these idiots want to do this because they think it's important apparently uh anyway pro union these uh think tank these islands uh, Chairman Kevin Haig pointed out that the position being adopted by the EU was a steaming mess. It was a huge turd, let's be honest. He says, we'll join without our own currency. And while using a non-EU alignment currency, say what? Don't worry, guys, we won't actually mean it. We'll become commit to joining the euro in due course as we're required to do so. But yeah, OK, we'll need to establish our own currency and work to align it with the euro, which will take a bare minimum of two years. So currency issues will plague an independent Scotland on this path for many, many years, permanently. When you think who your biggest trading partner is, and then you've got no control over the rate of interest, you've got no control over your exchange rate, you've got no control over your own monetary policy. But hey, you know, great idea, isn't it? Um, it it's, it's just bonkers. These people are absolute loons. And there's, there's a prime example of a Scottish loon, a very rare sighted loon nowadays. None of them want to come out from hiding. None of them want to face the press. None of them want to be scrutinised, especially not about the Michael Matheson affair. But um, they don't want to be scrutinised on anything because they know everything they say is complete rubbish. Anyway, I shall round up there, come up and finish this video. Got a lot to get through today. 
As I said at the beginning of this video, they were all delusional. They really, they daren't tell the people what it means, the implications of everything they want. Because they know that the people just go, are you crazy? Are you mad? Are you off your bonce? Because obviously, yes, they are. Can you imagine 10 years? Can't trade freely with England. Can't trade freely with the EU. And your currency's plummeting in value and is effectively worthless. And all because this little group at the top want to have the fun and palaver of forming their own single party dictatorial state. Great, isn't it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I shall finish there. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and always question these people on what it actually means to have your own currency. Because it's not good. Bye.